For Gaza, who are the Field Guide Association of Southern Africa, proudly presents Safari Guide of the Year 2022. My name is David Batsoffen, and in association with Fagaza, I present In Conversation With. And today we are chatting with the owner and founder of Frigo, and that is Mark Fraser. Mark, good morning. Welcome to you. Morning, David. Thank you so much. Frigo, it sounds like it's a wildlife release organization, but I know it's not. Yeah, um, basically it's a brand, David. So the, the whole vision for the brand came um, from my experience as a guide. So I've been in the tourism industry myself for 10 years, right. um, both guiding and providing 4x4 training for guides. Um, and essentially what I've realized, and that's, to be honest, courtesy of COVID, is there's quite a need for products, whether it's vehicle-based or lodge-based or safari-based, or just for the, you know, the general adventurer. You don't have to be a trails guy to need gear you know personally i'm quite gear obsessed if it makes sense and um, i've always had a, a big love for gadgets and, and bags and applying my guiding knowledge into the company it's really been uh, very fruitful if i can put it like that um so yeah essentially we are based in hoodsprey um we do everything safari uh, vehicle related both on the automotive side so you know essentially taking an old game view and making it brand new so full on custom or re, re, renewal of a vehicle. Um, and then we manufacture safari based goods. You know, all the guides, they always need safari hot boxes and they need bags and they need bino bags and they need rifle bags. And, you know, the whole lodge industry is very gear intensive. Um, and yeah, that's where we come in. We try to be the, the, the main go-to in the Woodspread region. And uh, I have to say, it's really, it's really been uh, a very fun journey. Um, for me since I, I moved to this break and started the company. So, so far, is, so good. How long has the company been going? Frigo I actually only started last year in May. Um, I started it literally as a side on because I was at the time managing a lodge um, during the COVID, you know, uh, mm. we could say really uh, ending, ending season of COVID, if it makes sense, because of all tourism coming to a bit of a standstill. So yeah. I started the company while I was managing this lodge. And we did work on the site. And then when I moved to Hootsprate, um, particularly to get closer to the industry, I just gave it my all. So essentially, we, we started working from home, you know, like many people. Um, that was end of September. And since then, it's just been a, a snowball effect, to be honest. That's wonderful. And your involvement in Safari Guide of the Year, what will it be? And why have you aligned your brand with uh, both for Gaza and with Safari Guide of the Year? David, I think, you know, Frigo, coming from where the whole vision is for the company and for, for the brand is really something that I've tried to design and manufacture purposely for the guiding industry. And the Safari Guide of the Year, I think it's such a nice gift if we can give a product or we can show our involvement, um, not only in certain products that we make, but just to create awareness for, for the industry that we are here to help. You know, people don't have to go to Johannesburg to have X, Y, and Z done, which is a bit of a mission, to be honest. Um, and as a guide, having guided myself for the past, you know, 10 years, safari and overland guiding, I really love the industry and I've been involved with Fugasa for quite a while. And it was just a no brainer, to be honest. Great stuff. Um, so what is the one product that you make that you believe a trails guide cannot do without? Well, a rifle bag, essentially, for number one, but also kit. Um, we are the only guys in, in the region that can custom make any kit to any spec. And I have a product that um, we, are the only, we are the only partner in this region that's allowed to use that product. It's a product that we can super hydrophobic coat material, which essentially makes any material waterproof. So doing trails... Um, not only do you need gear, but you also often have certain items that need to be fully waterproof. And I think that from our side is just such a brilliant add-on to give to the industry. I think that's spectacular. I really look forward to seeing your product at the end of the month. Um, at this particular juncture, um, there's still a few days to go before the event. What uh, advice would you be giving those five finalists at the moment? What should they be doing? in these final few days? You know, David, for me, um, I, coming from a guiding perspective myself, I think every guide has got 
his or her own style. And I think you mustn't compromise who and what you are. You know, all these guys have been guiding for quite a while. So they've got such a lot of experience to draw from. And if I were in their shoes, I would just, just relax and do what you do best. Because often when you put too much pressure on yourself, you actually lose sight of what's important, which is creating an amazing experience. It's as simple as that. Um, so that would, my advice would be, you know, at the end of the day, they already should have the knowledge by now. So just focus on who you are and just do your best. That's all you Great. can do, really. Great stuff, Mark. Thank you so very much. I've been talking to Mark Fraser, who's the owner and founder of Frigo. And as you heard, they manufacture an entire range um, of add-ons for vehicles. So if you have an old game viewer that you'd like to be sprayed purple, have uh, chrome spinner wheels fitted, a free flow <laughs> exhaust, and seats to match, then Mark and Frigo is the company to visit. Mark, thank you so very much for chatting to me this morning. I look forward to meeting you at Safari Guide of the Year 2022 at the end of the month. Thank you so much, David. Same one from my side.